friends of YouTube world. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me well or see me well or anything me well at the moment. I'm using a bunch of different devices that I'm not usually using, including my Bluetooth headset. Um, I just like to talk about money. Um, okay. So this is my wallet. And I hope you guys can see it. I don't know if you can or not. Okay. So, it is a wallet that has a buckle on the front and has a zipper going down the side. And I'm putting my phone on my bed, so I'm sorry if the video is horrible. Um, you can hear me zipping the wallet right now. So, the front has a buckle. There's a top zipper, and it's kind of like a leather type thing. Um, so, there used to be a strap on it, but it broke. So, I'm just going to talk about the way I organize my wallet. So, um, you'll notice that you can hear me going through coins right now. And I'm going through them to talk about how I know the difference between these coins. So, I'm a Canadian, therefore I use the Canadian currency. This is a nickel. And the reason I know this is because it has a rounded flat edge. And it's bigger than a dime, which is this thing. And it has a jagged flat edge. Or sorry, a jagged edge. Oh my god. Okay, so now I'm sorting my money into piles. So, dimes are in front. Nickels are to the left of the dimes. And I'm still sorting that. So, we're going to basically explain the concept of the different currencies and why some are better for me and others are horrible. I personally love the Canadian currency, but yeah, anyways. Okay, so money, um, bills, I should say. This is a $20 bill. Uh, for those of you that cannot see it, it has three full braille cells, which are made up of six dots. Oh, am I reading this properly? Yes, it is a $20 bill. So, usually, I would keep my 20s flat, like this. Just a flat, straight 20. Okay. So, I'm going to put this into my wallet. Which I just did. Now, challenges of a blind person is finding where the braille is on a bill. So, I would like to fold my 10s long ways in half so that the braille cell is n seeable or sorry feelable um it would be right on the top and it's folded so that this long ways like a tube almost um and then i would put that in the same compartment as my 20. depending on what cards i have actually my debit card, I can feel the writing on it. I'm not going to show you that because information. Um, this card, I don't know what it is, so I'm also not going to show you these. Um, as for coins, I wish I had some more right now because I would explain how I can tell the difference between them, but... I don't have any more coins at the current moment. Um, but as for organization of wallets and stuff, I like to keep mostly fives if I can, because fives make sure that people don't rip me off. And sorry, I'm playing with dimes right now, if you couldn't tell. Um, dimes are really, really, really tiny. So I hope that this is what you sound like when it shakes in your hand. These are the dimes. So, I hope that's an okay quality. Um, I am going to have to edit this after, and it might be a bit horrible. Here are some nickels shaking in my hand. So, it sounds, this is an open hand with nickels. So, it sounds a little bit different. Oops, I just dropped a nickel on my bed. 
Um, but yeah, so that's how I kind of sort my money. Um, this is going to be a part two to this video. I'm thinking of is what's in my bag challenge. So just a, like, what kind of, what's in my purse, what's in my bag, what's in my backpack. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Um, I do want to show one more device if I can find it, but I cannot at the current second. So, um, ah, here we go. I found it. So, actually, I found a quarter too, so I can explain this. A quarter is bigger than a nickel with a more jagged edge, which helps. And how I know the difference between, say, a quarter and a box of Tic Tacs is because the Tic Tacs are bigger. This is the Tic Tacs. This is the quarter. Oh, I dropped it. You cannot hear it right now because there's probably traffic and I'm shaking the quarter, but you can't hear it. Uh, um, and I'm sorry about that. Ah, you know what the good thing is to compare right now? A quarter and a key. Key knocking on quarter. Quarter knocking on key. So that's the difference. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'm going to give you one last shot of my face, I would hope. And we shall see. Bye, guys.